Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. And uh, I want to show you something. I know you've been there. I know you've done it. I've been doing it for years until I found these. But look at this strap right here. You see that strap right there? How it's broke and worn out right in here. You'll kind of get some of this right here. That's a pretty thick, heavy-duty strap but they still tend to wear out from time to time. We go through quite a bit of them, or actually we used to go through quite a bit of them. Green Touch makes these things right here. It's called a fast strap, and we'll show you how I put it on. Before I put it on, I wanna show you this one right here that I've been using this one for well over one year. And look at, look at how clean and crisp all the edges still are. You can see the wear where it sits against the tire. It's just got a little discoloration is all. But I've been using this one for about a year. You see the plastic or, or whatever this coating is is st just now starting to peel off just a little bit. The clips are still good and crisp. Now I got tired of buying straps, just to be honest with you, so uh, I got me a few of these things and tried them out and really like them. Uh, I strapped the Ventrac down, I strapped the Permagreen down with them, uh, my big Toro sprayer, uh, I use it to strap them down, uh, my ABI Force, I'm getting ready to install one right now uh, so that I can strap it down. So let me show you how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is position the machine on the trailer where I want it. Now if I have a bigger trailer and I have multiple machines, I'm going to go and put all the equipment on the trailer where it's going to be and, and then I know where I can put my mounting brackets. You see this bracket right here, all it is is two of these uh, for one tire. That's kind of what comes in a pack, you got your strap and you got two of the mounting plates or mounting brackets or whatever you want to call it. You can see I've already got that one mounted, but I'm going to get it set up where I want it. Lay this down here and I'm going to leave my slotted open facing away from the tire. I'm just going to slide it in here, set it right up against the tire like so. You can see I've already got my holes drawn with my Sharpie right there. And I'm going to do that with both tires, set them out like this, mark my holes in. Now once I've got that in place, I take my Sharpie, mark my holes, and you're not going to be able to mark the holes up there. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So there's my three holes I've already marked and I'm going to line it up again with my holes here. Hold that down, mark them. You can see my drill bit's a little bit smaller than my actual screw. I always like to pre-drill these holes so it doesn't split the wood. Once I get that drill, just take you a little impact driver and I'll get them all started. Make sure the holes line up just right. Which I guess if they don't line up, it's a little too late now, isn't it? Be sure you don't over tighten those because you don't want to strip that out. You want it to be good and firm. Let's 
So one of the cool things about these is they're not limited to just lawn care equipment. Zero turn mowers, permagreens, ABIs, walk behinds. You can use them for four wheelers, ATV, uh, side by side go karts. Each strap is equivalent to 800 pounds. So if you got a 1600 pound machine, you need two of these. You can look at it as each strap carries an 800 pound value to it. So you have to know the weight of your machine and what you're hauling. That'll tell you how many you need. All right, so when you take it out of the pack, this is gonna kind of be what you get. You want to open this up. It's a certain way you want to orientate this strap to make it work. All right, I'm going to fold that down like that and create a T. You see my hump, my hump right here, my ridge is pointed up like so. I'm going to push it on around just a little bit more like that. That way I can get to both of these grooves. You can see the strap part has a non-lettered side and a lettered side. I'm going to let the lettered side face out like so. I'm going to go in the back groove like this. Come up. Then I'm going to go down through the top, through the, the top groove. Like so. Might be a little tight the first go around, but once you get it in, uh, it's not nowhere near as, as, as tight adjusting it and moving it around. So now you take your knot side, and you see this little clip right here. You're gonna pull that back. That goes in first. It just slides down in there. Let that go. And that's what locks it in place. So I'm gonna lay it across. Whoa, where in the world did a hair come from on this thing? So I'm gonna lay it across my tire with the letter side up. Click in my front and my back side. Now you see I got a little slack left in. I'm gonna take that slack up. Now I don't wanna get that super tight. I just wanna get it somewhat snug. And I'm gonna take my handle and flip it up and that's what will tighten it down. You can see how that right there puts the tension on it. You see that tire kind of cave in just a little bit. You know it's tight and I just leave my strap hanging right there. That ain't going nowhere. Now to take it off, you just do it in reverse order. You flip that down, from here, from here. That's all the strap that you got. Now as long as it's the same machine and got the same tire size, you don't have to go changing this or adjusting it out. But obviously if it's a bigger tire, smaller tire, it may throw it off just a little bit. So once you mount your, your two plates at the bottom, you want to kind of keep it around the same tire size every time. And of course, if you have a smaller tire, the mountain plates would have to be mounted closer together, a bigger tire further apart. So I think these things are real simple, real clean. Uh, they don't take up a lot of space. You can fold it up right there, throw it behind you, see your truck, toolbox or whatever. We're actually in the process of all of our trailers getting the equipment set up because our guys go out with the exact same equipment every single day they're they're put on the trailer the exact same way every single time it's kind of my ocd kicking in and we're in the process of outfitting all the trailers and, and putting these in in the correct place so that when they roll up all i have to do is pop that strap out buckle buckle lock and they're done Say so, hey, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And tell all your buddies. Uh, I appreciate you. I'll link these up in the description. You can check them out if you want to. Check you later.